Hastings is our town, you know it well. From the welcome sign to the high school bell. You say you know it well, that's not quite true. Cause we take a hike, Mike, I'll prove it to you. There's lesser known businesses and some you've heard of more. But it doesn't bother me cause I just love to explore. Interviewing owners and lending a hand. I love to assist for as long as they can stand. Where will I go next? I really can't say. Here's a little warning cause it might be your way. No matter where I go, one thing is true. With Take a Hike, Mike, it's entertainment for you. Paging Dr. Bramer, we've got animals that need your medical expertise. Never fear, Take a Hike Mike is here. I'm Mike Bramer, and today I'm at the Hastings Vet Clinic. I'll be meeting with veterinarian Diane Brown. She'll be giving me the lowdown on the vet clinic and what it takes to care for all animals, great and small. After that, it's time to lend a helping paw, or hand, as I assist with various animal checkups. Then, Diane and I attempt to give my angry cat Ernie some much needed medical attention and run a blood test. Do I have what it takes to be a vet? You bet. Let's hike inside and get started. Come on. Well, hello, Diane. Hi, Mike. How are you doing today? Good. How are you today? I'm very good. good. So, first of all, tell me how long has the Hastings Vet Clinic been around? Oh, boy. We've been in business since 1968. Oh, wow. That's been a while. I started here in 1989, though. Okay, okay, sure. So what are some of the common services that you provide at the vet clinic? Um, your basic um, sick pets, um, medical and surgical cases, um, routine vaccines, routine surgeries, and pets and um, large animal also. So how long did you have to go to school for to become a vet? Um, I went seven years. Wow, that's a lot of schooling. I barely made it through four. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you ever have to, whoop, something sneezing on me. <laughs> Is there any animals that you will not take care of or treat? No, not really. Um, not really. And what about a king cobra? Except for king cobras, perhaps. <laughs> Rattlesnakes, <laughs> Tasmanian devils, things of that nature. No. And maybe if they're declawed or DT. Yeah. <laughs> So, do all dogs really go to heaven? Yes. Yes, they do. So, what is the life expectancy of a cat? My cat's a bit older. He's eight human years old, eight or nine human years mm -hmm. old. What's a typical age of a cat? A uh, kitty lifespan is um, between 14 and 16. Oh, wow. So, um, Ernie has a few more year, years few in him left. Years. So yeah. We've seen kitties make 20. Oh, wow. So, chin up, might make 20. Yeah. <laughs> it was really hard. I would have been here sooner, but I was trying to get him into the kennel. That's not very easy. <laughs> How do you typically get a cat in a kennel? Oh, it's tough at home. Um, I've done it with my own cats at home. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very tough. Yeah. Um, tricking them. Okay. Him is the I, thing. I tried that. Well, first I just opened the door and like told him to go in. That doesn't he didn't work. want to. No. Because the first time we did it, he was curious. So he wanted to go in there. So anyway, I opened it and he didn't want to go in. So I tried pushing him, but he like always bent out of the way. So then I put the put kennel, the brakes on. I put the kennel like straight up and down. So it was like right. a shoot to drop him in. But then he kept spreading his legs. So then the final thing I tried was I put a piece of. He loves ham. So I put a little piece of ham in there to lure him in there, but that didn't work. So then Dad helped me just kind of squeeze him, squeeze him in quick. Yep, so yep. maybe a bag would have been better, just throwing him in a bag. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the longest an animal will stay here under your care? Mm -hmm. A couple of days. Okay. Um, many times, like your kitty situation, if we have kitties that are having a hard time using the box, sometimes it takes a couple of days to figure that mm -hmm. all out. So when cats and dogs stay overnight, do they get like a bed to lay in and a button to push their paw on if they need to call a nurse? No. Hopefully they get to watch Animal Planet too. Hopefully that's <laughs> available for them. <laughs> well, I think that's about all the questions I have for you, Diane. So we're going to take a quick commercial break. But when we come back, maybe you can take a look at my cat and we can check out some other animals too. Sounds good. All right. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Relive the laughs, the hikes, and all the heel clicks again and again with Take a Hike Mike Volume 2 on DVD. It includes all nine episodes of season two, plus special features, like the making of the Take a Hike Mike doggy suite at Rio Grande, a birthday surprise, and of course, a blooper reel. Also included is the official Take a Hike Mike button. All this wrapped up once again in that comfy bindle bag for only $20.
available at the Spool House at 108 East 5th Street. Volume 2 on DVD makes a great gift for anyone hiking their first mile or their 99th. So pick up your copy of Take a Hike Mike, Volume 2 on DVD today. Welcome back to Take a Hike Mike here at the Hastings Vet Clinic with Diane Brown. So, Diane, can you give me a little tour of the vet clinic? Sure, I could sure do that. Sounds good. Um, right up here is our front desk. Mm -hmm. And then is this a scale here? This is a scale. Let's put you on there, Mike. Let's okay. see what you weigh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> is this uh, the generic dog test? How much does Mike Bramer weigh? <laughs> we'll find out. Our clients do the balance beam around it. So back this way are our exam rooms. Um, okay. We have four exam rooms. Um, someone's in this one. This is the second exam room that someone's also in. Pharmacy area. Okay. And our chemistry area where we do blood work, um, microscope, blood machines. So like what does this little computer machine do? That is the, it's our vet scan that gives us our um, chemistries. Okay. Um, is there any computer games on there too, or no? There are not. Oh, computer bummer, then I don't care about there. that one. Is there games on this one? Um, no. Because first when I walked in, I'm like, wow, this is like an arcade here. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so, uh, w what is your role here at the vet clinic? I'm um, a veterinary technician. Veterinary technician. We do um, help assist in surgery, check in appointments, um, help in exams, mm -hmm. um, run the blood work, mm -hmm. draw blood. What's the weirdest animal you've ever worked on? Probably an iguana. Wow, an iguana. What did you do with that iguana? I just had to hold it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So somebody paid you to do that? They did. They actually did. <laughs> Dearly. Yeah. Yes. Where should we go next, Diane? Well, let's go right back Thank here. Yeah. Here is our um, dental suite. Oh, interesting. Call it that. Um, Ashley's getting some drugs made up. Okay. Antibiotics. Oh, antibiotics. Yeah. Okay. So you, you clean a lot of the teeth and stuff? Would you be able to clean my teeth with this equipment, or is it strictly for animals? Probably not. <laughs> if, what would happen if we used um, some of the teeth whitening or teeth cleaning stuff on a human? I don't know. I could be your guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> I think the scaler is probably a little bit harsh. Uh, more harsh. Yeah, more harsh. Just because yeah. animals obviously have more plaque on their teeth than we do. I don't know. My teeth I get pretty bad sometimes. So anyway. <laughs> This is our kitty room. Oh wow, now here's all the kitties. Look here's at that. Here's all the kitties. This particular guy <clears> needs <throat> a home. So this one could be adopted. His name's Roger. Roger, okay. Wow. Viewers, if you like Roger. Come on out, Roger. Show yourself. Yeah. Roger enjoys long walks on the beach and uh, candlelit <laughs> dinners. <laughs> and Roger can be yours. <laughs> so how much does it cost to adopt an animal? Uh, nothing. Oh wow, they're free. Nothing. I'll take nothing. them with me on the way out. Okay, okay. <laughs> These two kittens, oh, wow, kittens also, too. they yeah. are going to a home this afternoon. Oh, so people adopted these already? Yeah. Oh, it's your kitties. And then through here, a secret passageway. Through here, oh, again, wow. past our kitty room. We have a door here so we can keep the cats and the dogs. Yeah, otherwise um, they fight. <laughs> so our mm -hmm. bigger dogs go back in these kennels. Easier to clean, a little bit more space. It's bigger than the dorm room I had in college. <laughs> Name the Elvis Presley song that centers around a droopy-eared canine. Are you a big Elvis Presley fan? I know that song. You know it? Um. Or can you sing a little bit of it? <laughs> you, <laughs> don't, you, know? you don't want me to sing it. Because <laughs> that's bonus points. If you can sing it, that's, that's even more points for you. What is it? The name of the song is You Ain't Nothing But A, you hound, ain't nothing dog. a hound Dog. But now can you sing it in the style of Elvis Presley? I'll do it with you. Ready? <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hound dog. You're crying all the time. That's good. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You're crying all the time. Very good, Mike. Very I good. think I got a couple points. You, you, you did get points. <laughs> you did get points. The show choir people will be. Yep, yep. But you knew the song. You're an Elvis fan, so we'll give you some points, too, for helping out with backup vocals. All right. <laughs> Oh, and here's our customer right now, Diane. Good hey, morning, Don. Yeah. Oh, hello. How are you, Don? Fine. Good morning, Don. Nice morning. to meet you. My name is Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah, I'm just kind of helping out around the vet clinic today. Very good. So, uh, so is this your cat here? Yes. This is Cuddles. Cuddles. Why don't we go back to an exam room, right, Don and Cuddles? 
So, Don, what's the situation with cuddles? She has a kidney problem. A kidney problem, interesting. Don has been coming in with cuddles for how long? Since April of, uh, well, she started going here when we got her in 97. Yeah. In May, but she's been going for the hydration since April of 2005. Wow. That's and, something. And what is the hydration process? Um, her kidneys, um, she had <laughs> kidney problems, well, at the beginning, back in 2005. So keeping her um, hydrated helps kidneys, keeps them flushed out. Okay. Um, our attempt at dialysis, we don't have dialysis, so we just keep her keep her hydrated. And she's so familiar with this place, she could she could give the tour. <laughs> yeah. So by keeping her hydrated, do you mean you just give her a bowl of water and send her on <laughs> No, we give her um, subcutaneous fluids. There we are, hey, honey. Cuddles. May I pet cuddles? Yeah, she's a sweet girl. Well, you can touch her. It's oh, all right. Good girl cuddles. Show them your better side cuddles. Hey. Look at that. What a cute kitty. So hey, she cuddles. Was, so cuddles is 16 now, isn't she? Yeah. Wow, 16 human years? Yeah. Wow. Did you might drive in a car? Yeah, yeah, I know. Sweet 16. <laughs> Did you have a sweet 16 birthday party for her? Uh, I, I don't know exactly what her birthday is. We <laughs> got the main society in, in Woodbury. So why did you decide on the name Cuddles? She's cuddly. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so does that go in the cat's mouth? This is going to actually be injected onto the skin. Oh, interesting. She's very used to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, she comes <clears throat> twice a week for us. Wow. Okay, I'll let you get around there, Jill. All right. Thanks. You can have it. <laughs> Just let me know, Jill, if you need any help or anything. You can hold this, Mike. Oh, can I? Yeah. That's get cool. hands on. All right, there we go. Here. Hands on. <laughs> I said I wanted to do hands-on stuff. Perfect. Hands on the cat, hands on the water bag. Should <laughs> cuddles just give us one little voice of She'll squeak. she feels about this? Oh, not today. Wow. <laughs> she didn't mind it. Does this whole bag go into cuddles? I was going to say, wow, no wonder she's so big. <laughs> oh, she's some shedding here, too. Yeah. We could clone her. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. I live with her, she doesn't live with me. <laughs> you just pay rent. <laughs> yeah, I, I pay the bills. Take a little look and see where we're at. Do you want me to squeeze it? Nope, oh, we'll just... Probably enough. So it looks like uh, Cuddles here is now full of the, the hydration, the fluids. Looks like wow, she's, yeah, she's happier than ever. And Don, thank you for uh, being on Take a Hike Mike and letting <laughs> Cuddles be on Take a Hike Mike too. All right, I'm now here with Eric Ruland, one of the other veterinarians here at the clinic. So does any strange cases come to mind? Interesting? Oh, there's tons and tons and tons. <laughs> You'd never believe the stuff we pull out of dogs' stomachs. Oh. Crazy Labrador retrievers, I've got one myself. So uh, there's never an end to the, to the weird stuff you see. So. Uh, so I noticed looking out the window, there's a cemetery there. Do the animals start here and never end up across the street? They don't, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not, it's not. It's like a, I, I always said that you know when I started here, they gave me the inspirational view out the, out the, <laughs> of, of the window. If a human came in and needed medical attention, would you be able to help them in some way? You know, actually, it's funny that you say that because as veterinarians, we have to be trained in, in zoonotic diseases as well. We have to, at some point, be able to recognize a little bit of that carryover in some of the clinical signs in people. Mm -hmm. And um, not that we would be able, to be able to fix them, but I have stitched my own finger up before oh, wow. and done that kind of stuff. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> not on my friends or anybody yeah. like that. I was going to say, because I have a rash, I was wondering if you'd look at it. You know, I do get that once. <laughs> A while, and uh, I'll just uh, I'll end it there. I've, I've seen plenty. Now we're going to work with a dog named Daisy. If you've seen the show Hey Hastings or Hastings Kids Time, you know Lois Chapman. Well, this is her dog, so we're gonna give Daisy a nice checkup. Hey Daisy, how you doing, girl? Good girl, Daisy. All right, Daisy, come on, girl. All right, here we go. Hey Daisy, right. how are you, love? Do you want me to pick her up and throw her you on know, the table? No, why don't we, Mike, let's bring her back to that scale. Come oh. on, Daisy. Daisy, oh. we're going to see how big you are, love. All right, so this is a scale here. We're going to weigh Daisy. Oh, good dog, Daisy. Let's see how big you are, love. Look at all your feet up there. 68.2. Wow. Why don't we lift her up here? Okay. Mike, I can grab an area. Okay. Come you want to grab the front and I'll grab the back? Sure. Come right. here, Daisy. Oh. Come on, let's put you up here, sweetheart. 
Here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Yeah. We're getting you the hands-on thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm on the hand, you. I thought this was good be thing I did my P90X before this. <laughs> and the thing about pets is um, we're their dentist. We're their optometrist. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all those things. Um, and they only live for 12 years. Yeah. So if you think about them having physical exams every year, that's like mm -hmm. you have an exam every eight to 10 years. Mm -hmm. It sure would be a lot easier if I could just come here and you could do my teeth and do my generic checkup and everything. So. It, should, it probably would be easier. So if you think you could handle me, it'd, it'd save me some time instead of going to the dentist, going to the doctor. You could be my all-in-one stop, uh, a one-stop shop. We'd have to get a muzzle big enough to fit Mike, wouldn't we, Daisy? <laughs> Does she get a lollipop? She will get a treat. You okay, she'll get a right, treat. She, will. she is up four pounds from what she was. Ooh. Feed her a little bit less, exercise her a little bit more. So maybe we could um, take her to Weight Watchers or Curbs or something like that? Her dog's The, the Jenny Craig. The Jenny Craig, okay. Daisy Craig. A lot of times you see dogs lick people's faces. Is that acceptable or is that... It's a kiss. It's a kiss? Is that is there risk of germs? The dog's mouth is cleaner than the human's mouth. Wow, interesting. It is. Even though they eat poop and stuff. And lick their butts. Yeah. And their mouth is cleaner I'm not flexible than ours. enough for that, so that's out of the question. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Diane, for uh, giving Daisy a checkup here. Um, we'll increase her exercise regimen a little bit, yep. but um, she's a healthy dog here. So Daisy, we'll get you that treat. Right. Sound good? We'll get you that treat. We're yeah. gonna tell her that she's treat. too heavy and we're still gonna give her a huh? treat. Oh boy, look at that. I'll take a treat. Can I try feeding her one? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All, All right. right, here we go. You have to be good. No, he's got him now. All right, roll over, roll over. Watch this, I'll have her do a trick. All right, sit. Sit. Roll over. All right, that's good enough. <laughs> Does she roll? I don't know. <laughs> I thought I'd just try it. I don't really know anything about this dog. <laughs> All right. She did good sit. Job. That was good a good job. thing. All right, should I take her back to the kennel then? Sure. Whoa. You've been asking for it. I've been teasing it. It's finally here. The Take a Hike Mike t-shirt. So where can you get your very own Take a Hike Mike t-shirt? Right here at the Spool House at 108 East 5th Street in Hastings, Minnesota. And while you're here, don't forget to pick up your Season 2 copy of Take a Hike Mike DVD set. For only $15, the Take a Hike Mike t-shirt is yours. Available in two luxurious colors, yellow haze and sky. It's time for you to kick up your heels and hit the runway. Pick up your Take a Hike Mike t-shirt today. So Eric, name these movies featuring live actor animals. Okay. Okay, this one. That is um, Charlotte's Web uh, or Babe. There you go, Babe. Babe. Okay, how about this one here? A little bit trickier, it's an older movie. Milo, um, Milo and Otis? Yes, there yes. you go, Milo and Otis. Okay, you got two. How about this one? It's an older movie. Um, I can't think. I can't think of it. But it, when you tell me, I'm gonna punch myself. I know. <laughs> that darn cat. Yes. Okay. 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 The fist be, didn't it fly. That's that good. Easy. It, should be, it should be that easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And one more for you. Um, Homer Bound. Yes. Good. Yeah. Nice job. You got three points. Though. All right. All right. You got some points on the board. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now it's an exciting moment to take a hike, Mike. This is my cat, Ernie. And we're going to give him a little checkup and check out his kidneys, so. Boy, he sure wants to come out of that. He kind does, of yeah. Like I said before, he wasn't happy about going into the uh, pet taxi. So oh, certainly that. willing to come out. Yeah, come on out, Ern. I'll check you out. Come on, Ern. Show us your stuff here, buddy. Come on, come on bud. There you go. And he is declawed in the front, luckily, so maybe I should just grab him and yank him out here. Come on, bud. Come on, Let's not say the word yank. Yank, no yank. <laughs> come on. Come on, uh, we'll encourage oh, oh. him to come out of his kennel. If we just dump him out. There, there we, we go. go. Gravity. There we go. Gravity is on our side. Gravity it's okay. and a bit of gravity also. It's okay, buddy. Yeah. I know, Are you love. Caught? I know, love. Oh, I know. The hissing is never good. I know, good. love. Oh. It's okay, love. Come on, Aaron. Aaron He's a good fella. Oh, he's there a good we go. boy. There's a good nice. boy. Was this oh, a that's trick the, to See, that was the in? trick to get him to go in, was the ham. Because oh. he loves ham. Dear, obviously. I thought if I threw that work. in there, 
You would maybe go in after it, but it didn't now work. Now I bet he would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ernie, I see it's about six months ago, was in, um, and we discovered that he had some kidney issues. Yeah. Um, pretty common problem in older kitties. Mm -hmm. um, just one of the organs that starts to fail in older kitties. Yeah. Ernie likes to pee around the house right now, and um, it was cute at first, you know, like when a kid does it. <laughs> But then after a while, it just... It lost its cute. Yeah, it's, it's not very cute anymore, so... And I thought about diapers. We tried the diaper thing. It didn't work so much. Not with the tail. Yeah, with the tail, so... <laughs> so oh, we're going to see what scale, Ernie huh? weighs. He's Actually, the reason we want to see what he weighs is that we want to know if there has been weight loss in the last six months, which would indicate failing health. How is this going to work, Ern? Ern, 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 we just want to see how big you are. Yeah, kind of Mike bad. did better on the scale. <laughs> he's about 8'4". Which, four. actually, Mike, is exactly what he weighed. He was 8'4", back okay. in May. So huh. I would anticipate those kidneys are... Doing good? Maintaining, yeah. Okay. So before the other gentleman, Don, I believe his name is, mm -hmm. came in and his cat gets like fluid injections. Is that something that Ernie would maybe need to get someday? It would help him. It would help. It would get him hydrated, get those kidneys um, perfused better. Okay. It would help. It kind of extends out the kidney. How much does it cost to get him hydrated? Uh, we charge about $10 each time. And it's twice a week? Twice a week. Okay. I need a raise. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We're going to see how Ernie's heart is doing. It's okay, Erin. It's a little bit of a purr and there's a little bit of a growl. <laughs> There's a lot of activity in there, buddy. Yeah. How do you feel about giving us a blood sample, Ernie? So how do you go? Would you just put like a giant needle in him and suck it out? No. No. Okay. Is it like one of those little things that um, the doctor where it's like on the finger, it's this little snapper thing. It's like, oh, it's like a mosquito bite, but it actually hurts really, really bad. We will show you. We'll see how he, we'll see how he acts. We're going to shave a little spot, a if, that, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's he has fine. enough for you to do the comb over. Yep. That's, that's that <laughs> hey, it's okay. <laughs> he does not want to be shaved. Is biting the veterinarian going to be on the blooper? Aaron, um, no biting Diane. Do you want me to pin him? Or hold him in some way? Oh, oh, honey. Oh, hey. he's a little cranky. The thing is, he doesn't get along with the cats around home because we live on a farm. Oh, listen. <laughs> this may not be <laughs> not a good idea. part of a good photo shoot. Can we shave a little spot? Okay. So How do you feel about that? Uh, you don't want to be shaved? All right, viewers, so Ernie does apparently does not want a haircut. He doesn't want to get his blood checked today, so... Yeah, he doesn't like that noise either. So he's growling and he's trying to bite at um, our veterinarian. So he'll get a pass on the, the blood test today. So Ernie will take you home and uh, put some diapers on you. Puts about 10 more litter boxes around the house. As he just mauls my face. <laughs> and um, hopefully he'll get better. So Diane, does the Hastings Vet Clinic have a website where our viewers can learn some more? Sure, we sure do. And has information about your services and right. stuff like that? Yep. Very it works, cool. yeah. Very cool. It has a little clip on each of our employees and a scan of the clinic also. Very cool. All right, I also have this gift for you. Oh, look at it's you. It's a hike ticket. The Hastings Veterinary Clinic was featured on Take a Hike Mike, signed Mike Bramer. So this is for you. You're welcome to put that on display. Oh, that is nice. Very cool. That is nice. So is there any other tasks around here that you'd like me to accomplish? Um, there are some kennels in the back. Oh, kennels. Okay. That may have um, your name on them. Okay. You want me to work with the animals in there or what do you have in mind? Well, maybe with what's left behind. Oh boy. Sounds like I'm cleaning cages, huh? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Here we go, get my broom. <laughs> Mike, what well, are oh. you doing? Oh, hi Diane. Well, I was cleaning out cages when all of a sudden the door closed behind me. And I got locked in here, so I've just been waiting for somebody to find me. 
Oh, Mike, this is not gonna work. Oh, this is not gonna work. It's not gonna work? This is not gonna work. Take a hike, Mike. Take a hike, Mike? All right. Should I take Daisy? Why don't you take All Daisy? Right, here we go, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. I really can't say Here's a little warning Cause it might be your way No matter where I go One thing is true With Take a Hike Mike It's entertainment for you That didn't work. <laughs> Let's try this again. Paging Dr. Boyba. Paging Dr. Boyba. <laughs> we have such weird jobs. Do you ever think about our jobs, Manny? What are we doing? I know. <laughs> we get paid for this? <laughs>